918. Very beautiful symbolic number. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Nurburgring. Two days ago, I had the crash with the GR86. And today, Andrea, our mechanic, well, not our, of Atomic, but our in case of he's the building the car, is back from holiday. How was it? Where were you been? Hello, ciao, ciao. I was in Sicilia. Oh, nice, yeah, nice. nice I, I, I still need to go there. I really want to go there. You should go. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, and we are going to check today the damage and most importantly since it's quite questionable whether there was maybe some suspension failure uh, before the impact because you could hear a clunk on the inside the car or Price, yeah. you like to talk with the ball. Oh, oh. on the outside apparently according to the spectators we'd like to see if we can find something as well so we'll be doing assessment of the damage first impression you said the light can be saved yeah, that's with good. a bit of polish. And that's probably the most expensive part of yes. the car anyway. Yes. That's probably the cheapest part of the car. Stretch, bumper, I need to check with the painter if it's better to buy or fix it. But okay. it's not correct, so. By the way, a reminder, we are going to be giving away this car. So this is also the reason why the thumbnail said, I'm sorry, when I also said at the end of the video, sorry for crashing your car, because at the end, we'll be giving it away. So go to gapped.online and register. And again, we'll be giving it away completely for free. Initial plan was to announce the giveaway date in October, because that's when the car was supposed to be finished. Now we need to see how long it's going to take us to repair the car and install final upgrades. It's bent. Yeah. Yeah, so we need different shocks. That's because of the impact on the left side where the car went in, obviously. It will be interesting to see if we're gonna find anything maybe on the right side, if anything failed there, because otherwise it's going to be a kind of Art and Senna scenario when, yeah, he just went straight. And afterwards, because of the impact, it was impossible to tell whether it was because of the impact or something failed before. So let's see, let's see. If your neighbors ever complained about you having a loud car, just take your jack for a walk early morning. I think we definitely need a new bumper. Just look at the hole, uh, actually. Mm. Yeah. Oh, the tire is down. No, still. No, it's still on pressure. Like I said, I loved how the Pro Track disassembles itself on, on impact, but always keeps pressure most of the times. For what I see on Apex cars, also race cars. You can fix it. <laughs> A bit of welding. I'm sure we're gonna be doing a giveaway with this and I'm sure someone is going to fix it. But it's gonna be a nice coffee table. Damper, it's in a weird position but looks straight. But it's better to change, it's not safe to leave it. I mean, I'll give it to Bilstein, they can have a look. Yeah, yeah, no, but need, need to change. When you have an impact, you have to change everything. Because yeah, yeah. it can fail after a bit of, of time. Of course, of course, no, no, no. No, they can do the whole revision on it and see what's necessary. So, visually, yeah, everything is bent. Bent, but anything broken? Let's see if something missing. This nut is there, this bolt is there, one and two are here, this nut hits here, this nut hits here, let's see the one in the bottom, yeah it's here. Tie rods, everything good on this side? Drop link, it's in here, bent, but it's there. Okay. That's tight, it's tight, this is broken. Which one? Here. Yeah, okay. But that can be from the impact. That can be from the impact. That's, that's one here. This one here. That. That got loose, but that cannot do anything because this is there. And not here, not here. I don't see visually anything strange. To put on the lift and check. Underneath more underneath in detail. Maybe steering rack or... Okay. But there are no more... Yeah, nothing even on the first side. Yeah. The damage in any way is not, not bad. The easy plug and play. There's no chassis involved, nothing. Wrapping safe from scratch. Next time, need metal, metal wrapping. Yeah. More stronger. Or the barrier repellent coating. Yes. New tire, new rims. Well, we're gonna put a set of CRS on it anyway. Curious to try as well, the new Nanka. The apparently two seconds per lap faster on Zandvoort, so what, 10 seconds on the overcream? Yeah, probably they are lighter, hopefully. Yeah, and less loud, that's the most important yeah. thing actually. That's the 
think it was the tire broken. Yeah, that snapped. Look bad because it's snapped, but it's a good thing because instead of bend the chassis, it snapped the arms, cost less than the chassis. And the can we replace just like one that broken part, or do we need to have the whole arm? When you have a crash, you should replace everything. You need to replace everything. Yeah, no because, problem. Uh, can be visually everything is fine. Yeah, yeah, but a micro crack or something. But in, inside is tiny cracked, mm. and uh, with stress and track use, for, uh, mostly it's gonna break so mm -hmm. it's not safety at all good especially this all everything is in steel yeah so it's strong but when you have aluminium one mm -hmm. okay they bend easily but uh, uh, this if, if they looking straight never keep it in the car always change it because aluminium is busted and will fail and here it's bent mm -hmm. that's bent uh, the sway bar maybe is bent, but because I believe because this and the impact moved everything. And this is a uh, subframe, so need to check. I think it's possible to make it straight. That subframe is welded here. It's not uh, alignment stuff, it's just the support of the, the sway bar. So okay. I believe all three need to be replaced because it's better for safe. Pull the body out, it's not so hard, so the tools will come. Plastic here under it. Bumper is just tiny scratch. Yeah, it's coming already. Yeah, but need to be painted because here it's scratched. Ideally, we should show the place the bearing too. Yeah, no problem. So, what's your first guesstimation of the cost? Is uh, it below ten thousand? No. No? It's uh, there. It's there. Yes. Okay. It's not below ten thousand because parts probably is four, three, four. Okay. Body-wise, this is uh, paint repair 2k we are in germany maybe even more yes if we were somewhere eastern european country it would have been yeah, cheaper half. even uk yes even uk significantly cheaper half price yes yeah you are down there 10 to 12. Ah, just when we fixable, thought yeah. yeah when we thought that it could be fixed just by polishing this out the attachment points broke off so that's definitely over 10k now yes this probably is one and a half only this uh, it's not a mistake of your driving. It's something was in the line where where it went. Maybe some like some fluid, maybe fluid or a lot of sand uh, from someone went out or something like this. It's uh, it's not uh, y your driving mistake. No, I mean, this time. This time. <laughs> <laughs> it was freaking weird, man. There was like absolutely zero feel on the steering wheel. And the car just went straight, didn't react on the brakes, nothing, or on steering. Yeah. Brake, uh, strange. Yeah, yeah cause you don't, don't see the car slowing down at all. Yeah. It's too bad I uh, forgot my GoPros. Because the, well, the Civic hype, the Type R hype might become real. So we're gonna <laughs> give it a test drive. So I told Andrea that I want to build a Civic. Not gonna tell you which one. Ah, EG after driving a K24 version video coming up soon and he said try this one because this is even lighter and even better but obviously if you're gonna build one you need to have a cage in it and I understand why hmm well let's give it a start up Sold. Well, not this one in particular, but that's definitely an amazing car. I just need to, of course, uh, make sure that the seating position is right, because right now everything is fixed to his height, and yeah, it doesn't work with heel and toe with the steering wheel so low to me. But yeah, amazing. What engine is this one? D16? No, that would be lovely. It's a D16, the CRX engine. Okay, so it's like what, 100 something horsepower? 125, but there is some issue with some sensor and not working 100%. Okay, but it feels good. It's the power to weight ratio that does it. Yeah, exactly. Ah, you can insert a coin. It's like a, <laughs> like a machine. <laughs> Old style. Yeah. Beautiful. It's a bit dirty, but it's clean job. Nice. So 890 kilos, you said? Yeah. With like 300 horsepower, K24, one on three. Uh, 
He is gonna be very fast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Funny how back in the days when I started with my Subaru Impreza, everyone was laughing on Honda boys like, eh, no power, eh, ha 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 ha. And now the VTEC, the K series is the answer. <laughs> Everything else is yeah, power, but it gets overheated after half a lap or runs out of brakes. That was an expensive test drive. S2000 slash AP3 caliper and Volkswagen Golf G60 disc. Really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, but now back to the main topic of today's video and this whole year, probably at least definitely the whole week, the GR86. We couldn't find anything that may have caused the, the failure or the clunking noise, the sound. Uh, of course, uh, maybe something has failed on the left side, on the side of the impact, but we will never know. Many people have sent us supportive messages that, uh, well, there must have been something definitely off the line. Like I said, the, the steering was super light, I couldn't feel anything anymore, and the car just went straight. You didn't hear any understeering sound of tires screeching. Uh, people have messaged also possible that ABS got triggered, either because there was something on the track or because I broke, well, I was braking, not broke, but I was braking too hard, and then ABS went to ice mode possible because of all the elevation changes I'd like to believe that it's not the case because I've done this corner hundreds of times with this particular car alone um, so I don't know at the end of the day I really do not care of course I would love to know what happened we, you learn from it most important thing that everyone is okay everyone is all right uh, and we will rebuild the car even stronger even better because a couple of like the stock front arms I would like to replace by another version of hard race and the, even the parts that are not damaged but might have been damaged like Andrea said will be replaced to make sure that whoever is going to win this car will get a perfectly rebuilt car even a better shape and form than it is right now we hope that the car will be done in the next four weeks. It all depends on the lead times when all the parts will be available. So such as not only the underneath part, but also the original parts from Toyota, because beginning of the year, it was quite difficult. So we will have to see how long it's going to take. I certainly hope that we will be able to drive the car in its finished form before the end of the season, because we're now entering September, October, mid November, the track closes if there is no snow. And that's, kind of it um, you live and you learn we keep on driving as you seen already yesterday um, and yeah things can go wrong and uh, sometimes it's obvious what has happened sometimes it's less obvious but the most important thing that everyone is safe at the end of the day and we keep doing what we love and you guys enjoy the videos and some people dislike them but they still talk about them so always good <laughs> Um, that's kind of it. I'm going to go home and, uh, I don't know, edit some more videos for you guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments anything, how your day is doing. If you're looking, if I should definitely build, build the EF, uh, it's going to come. Not sure if it's this year, hopefully next year, because I already bought a car uh, that will be delivered, a new car that will be delivered in November, unveiling for that. For the following November, I'm picking it up on my birthday, on November 11th. And there's a couple of other big projects that require quite some financial commitment for upcoming year. Um, I know, teasing, teasing, big plans, big projects, just YouTube stuff. It's the end of the video. No one is watching probably anyway. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for then. Thanks for watching. Bye.